I can drive to a McDonald's and get McDonald's if I wanted to. Nothing is stopping me. I just have no desire, no pull, no craving, no like, oh, I miss this. I don't miss it. I don't want to eat that shit anymore. Uh, Bold and Brave Wedding Company. Do you ever have, quote, cheat meals or days like ever, or are you 100% on 100% of the time? I don't consider anything like cheating. No, I don't in the way you're probably defining it. I just don't have the desire to eat that kind of shit. But I don't. When you say cheat, people cheat. The reason why people call it a cheat is because they know they shouldn't be eating it. They call it a cheat because they normally restrict those foods in their brain are a go. The foods in their brain are something to be eaten. They know they shouldn't. So they're restricting not eating to their set, their nutritional satisfaction. So their normal, their normal way of living is living without. They're looking at the way they live as I'm missing something. So I'm going to allow myself to fill in the gaps on these days. So because people fundamentally don't look at their nutrition properly. They have to use the term cheat. So the way I look at my food is I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my food. Just like you're going to go and put, you're not going to put regular octane in a Porsche or you're not going to put 93 in a fucking Toyota Corolla unless you just want to waste money and or damage your car. So I fuel my body. I eat the foods I know work well for me. And if I want something salty, I put salt on it. I put salt on the meat. Like my, my cravings and those types of satisfactions on my palate and my evolutionary, all these adaptations through millennia, that's satisfied with the foods that I eat. I'm so satisfied with the foods that I eat. I don't look at pizza and be like, Ooh, I wish I could eat that. Oh my God. It's so good. And then I go to my bowl of like white rice with nothing on it and like plain chicken. That's not how I eat. That's how most people think about eating. Yes. If you're eating plain broccoli with fucking plain chicken. Yeah. I would want to fucking kill myself too because that's bland and disgusting and you're missing fun. You're missing fat. You're missing delicious fucking fat. So that's not proper nutrition. That's not proper nutrition. So of course you're restricting. Of course you're hungry. Of course you're having cravings. Your body's like, please give me food. I need fat so bad. I need real, I, I need real nutrient dense food. The problem is people go and they eat vegetable oils and their body is still confused and it doesn't know to be full. And it's like, give me more, give me more, give me more. This is kind of good, but it's really an imposter. So I don't look at it as being 100% all the time. I just know that it's time for me to satisfy my needs. It's time for me to fill my tank. So I eat nutrient-dense food. So listen to what I eat. I'm not saying this to brag. I'm not saying this to say you have to eat the same things. But I'll eat steak, whether it's skirt steak, whether it's ribeye, whether it's uh, ground beef. I'll cook it in tallow. I'll put raw butter all over it. I have raw kefir. I have raw yogurt. We have raw cream in the coffee. This is fucking fantastic. We're drinking it straight. Mangoes, apples, bananas, watermelon, colostrum, whole eggs, uh, pastured pork, bacon. Like I, if I want salty, I put salt and fat and all over the steak and the bacon's salty or raw cheese. It's fucking salty. There's Celtic sea salt all over it. It's made with Celtic sea salt. It's delicious. Uh, eggs, like whole rich, delicious eggs. I, I don't need to cheat. I'm so full. I'm satisfied. And if I want sugar, if I want that, I eat fruit. I'll have watermelon. I'll just eat a fucking watermelon. You want to binge on something? Stuff your face with fucking watermelon. You're going to be fine. It's n <laughs> like, you're, 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 you're going to be fine. You're not going to have a fat gut because you ate too much watermelon. Oh, I have diabetes. I just eat too much watermelon. It's 92% water. Just chugging fluid. It's so good. So again, I don't look at it as being 100%. I look at it as I want to eat the foods that work best for me. I want to feel great. And I eat those foods. And I'm so 
satisfied from micro the micronutrients. I'm just so satisfied and I'm full. I'm satiated. So I don't have the same type of bingings and cravings. And I don't keep that shit in my environment. We were at a family thing the other night and they had pizza there. And they're saying, and, and you know, the family or there would say, well, I'd offer you, I'd offer you pizza, but I know you don't eat that. I'm like, yeah, it's all right. Like, I just, it's not appealing at all. It just looks gross. It doesn't look like real food. It does it because it's not real food. It's not real food. So when someone says, oh, you don't have a cheat meal. I don't say that because I'm holier than thou. Like I don't cheat. I am perfect with discipline. I honestly do not have cravings for this stuff. I'm a grown ass man. I have money. I can drive to a McDonald's and get McDonald's if I wanted to. Nothing is stopping me. I just have no desire, no pull, no craving, no like, oh, I miss this. I don't miss it. I don't want to eat that shit anymore. I don't want to feel like crap. I don't want to eat garbage psychologically, logically, and just a big, a big thing of it is I know what it is. I know what it's made out of. I know what's in it. And you can say, well, ignorance is bliss because I know too much. No, I just know about it. I am so educated on what is in this stuff and how it causes inflammation. I understand these side effects. I just have too much information. How can I still eat that shit? with that information. It makes me a fucking idiot for people that know, Oh, I know how bad this is. <laughs> fucking you're a crackhead. You're such a fucking weirdo. How can you knowingly do that to yourself? When you really know it's disgusting. It's gross. Like, I don't want to put that in my body. I don't want that around me. I'm not perfect. I don't live in the middle of nowhere. I'm still exposed to EMF and radio. Like I'm still exposed to a lot of things. There's still cars around. I'm breathing in. You got to do the best that you can. You also can't be so overly obsessed. You just don't go outside and don't function at all. So you can't let it overrun, but you got to control the things that you can control the most. Or you can go live in the mountains and fend for yourself and, you know, go back to the 1700s and don't use electricity and live in a cabin. And yeah, you'll have less of those things around you. You have less conveniences. You're not around friends and family. It's there's pros and cons, right? There's pros and cons, but you can do things like that. You can turn off your Wi-Fi at night. You can get EMF curtains and blankets, and you can remove toxins from your mattresses and pillowcase. Like over time, you can. Oh, you learn. You you gather new information, and then you remove some things. You get cotton uh, shower curtains, so you're not breathing like noxious gases when you're plastic phthalate screens are breaking down and steaming in a hot shower. You learn things and then you remove them and you update and you practice, but people use the excuse of, Oh, I can't obsess over that. And it's just like, that's no way to live. And they say that so they don't have to take any action. So they don't have to actually do anything and be aware of these things. They're not going to want cancer when they're older, but for right now they can't be bothered. It's like, you don't have to live under a rock. Just when you gather logical information, you make a better choice. Hey, I'm not going to buy Dove soap. I'm not going to buy this other toxic shit. Maybe I'll just go buy some. I'm ordering something on Amazon. All I got to do is use my finger a couple more times and get some grass-fed tallow soap instead. Ooh, okay. Well, that stuff doesn't last as long. You don't need as much either. You don't need to be scrubbing your body to death every day. And don't leave it in the shower so it's not like wasting away, you know? Like, use the fucking soap. <sighs> anyway, come on now. People just say that to make excuses. Yvonne, once I realized that what those cheat meals were doing to my body, I lost the desire to eat them. Knowing about this stuff and learning and reading books and listening to podcasts and just gathering information eventually you just lose the taste of it. When you know what the shit is inside that, it just starts to look more gross to you and then you just don't want it. Yeah, hey, y'all some jokers.
you all a bunch of clowns. You will not get a laugh out of me. You can talk, but you can't denounce. I live a different theology. Why I transfer to a new account? You just fucked over a prodigy. Posted up with a running crown. You are the